Okay, now let's look at the second two pages of this new algebra review packet, dealing with radicals, numbers under a square root. The whole first page, I hope you find that they are all perfect squares. What that means is I can rewrite this as six times six. And the fun way that I like to remember it is if there's a pair under the radical, one gets to come out. So the square root of 36 is six, or six times six is 36. So if I look at it this way, then 100 is 10 times 10, therefore it's 10. And the square root of 81 is nine times nine, therefore it's nine, all right? But when you have something like this, that I can't think of a number times itself that gives me 96, I have a little more work to do. Some of you prefer factor tree, where you break it down into the product of primes. All right, so let's do that. I always like to start with the lowest number, so I know it's an even number. So I say that 96 is two times 48, and 48 is two times 24, and 24 is two times 12. Have to ignore that for a moment. And 12 is two times six, and six is two times three. So I can write 96 as two times, two times, two times, two times, two times three. That's the product of primes. And then I look for the pairs. So if there's two twos, one gets to come out. Okay, another two, one gets to come out. And those have to stay in. So two twos have come out. Two times two is four. And what's left inside is two times three, that's six. That's your answer. Let's try it one more time. I break down 216. This is two times 108, and 108 is two times 54, which is two times 27. Two can't go into 27, we try three. Yep, three times nine which is three times three. All right, that's factor tree, remember that? And then, I'm gonna erase this one for a minute. I rewrite this as the product of all these prime numbers. So that's two times two times two, times three times three times three. Okay, and we're looking for our pairs. Every time you have a pair, one gets to come out. So I have a pair of twos, a two gets to come out. I have a pair of threes, a three gets to come out. So a two and a three came out, that's six, because you multiply. And what's left inside? Two times three, which is six. So that's your answer, simplifying square roots. All right.